So Anthony Joshua versus Jermaine Franklin. Let me give you my thoughts. And I'll give you, this fight doesn't really need a prediction video, but give you my thoughts with the prediction, you know, so you guys can see where I'm coming from. First of all, Anthony Joshua, you know, he's starting to get a little bit older now at this point. Um, he is coming off two consecutive defeats to Alexander, the, the cruiserweight GOAT, Alexander Uzik. Um, you know, this is more of a get your confidence back type of fight for Anthony Joshua, I feel like. Um, but his record's 24-3. and three. Two of those losses were to Uzik. One was to Ruiz. The Ruiz one he avenged. He's got an 82-inch reach. He, uh, he's 6'6". Six, six. We know the pedigree of Anthony Joshua. Franklin is, I believe he's 21-1, and one, right? With that only loss coming from a very close split decision, to, or majority decision, I believe it was, to Dillian White. And a lot of people felt Jermaine Franklin won that fight. Um, I, I thought it was close, personally, the fight between Franklin and White. I wasn't bitching about either guy getting the decision, but I did feel like Dillian White did get a little bit of a home cooking type of scorecards over there in Old England during that fight. So, um, <laughs> but it was close, right? But Jermaine Franklin hasn't really been in there with anybody aside of Dillian White. The other name that jumps out at me that uh, Jermaine Franklin had fought was Jerry Forrest, and that was a split decision. And Jerry Forrest is no, no, didn't set the world on fire exactly. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he did give, and to Jerry Forrest's credit, he did give Zhang, the big Chinaman, a good run for his money, dropped him, et cetera, so forth. So, but this is more or less, you know, Anthony Joshua's got four inches of height on him, he's got five inches of reach on him. The kid's very inex inexperienced. Jermaine Franklin's very inexperienced at the top level. I don't really think much of this fight. I, I, I think that, again, I, not to repeat myself, but again, I think this is a more get your confidence back type of fight for AJ because he should be able to take care of Jermaine Franklin, Franklin relative, relatively easily. Now, Franklin's a durable dude. You know, we saw White and him go had have a good back and forth, and White can punch. You know, he's I don't think he's as big of a puncher as people like to say, but he's got some decent power, right? So he is fairly durable, and it, it, I would imagine the fight will go some rounds. Um, but again, this is just more or less a get your confidence fight back for AJ. I don't think it's going to be very competitive. I think. It'll, for the most part, at least be a one-sided ass-kicking from from Anthony, excuse me, from Anthony Joshua's behalf. Um, but it'll, it'll go some rounds, I think. But, I mean, you got to go with AJ in this fight. He's the two-time former unified heavyweight champion of the world. He's far more experienced, amateur and professionally, right? He hits harder. He, he's got more experience, like all the all the... All the intangibles go fall under AJ. So, I mean, this is the this is my only. I don't really have a big problem with this fight because it is just kind of a bounce back fight. Okay, you lost to Uzik twice in a row. Franklin's fairly durable. The only gripe I have with this fight, like get a tune up and get your confidence back. I don't, I don't have an issue with that. I really don't have an issue with that. But. The only gripe I say I, I I say that I do have is why in the fuck wouldn't you just fight Dillian White for your bounce back fight? Because you should be at this point you should be able to mop the floor with Dillian White. So why wouldn't you just fight the winner of that fight? You understand what I'm saying? Either that and then maybe because this is what the, this is the thing. They're making this a tune up for a tune up because he's gonna fight Franklin. And then he's probably going to fight a Dillian White rematch. So it's like a tune-up for a tune-up. That's my only gripe with this fight, really. Like, how many how many does he need? I mean, I'd, I'd have rather seen him, like, fight Dillian White and then fight an Andy Ruiz trilogy or something like that. But they want to take a little bit of a softer touch to get AJ's mojo back, I suppose. So I don't really have a bit. But that if I had a gripe with the fight, 
that would be it. You know, you understand what I'm saying? He's fighting an inexperienced guy that really hasn't fought nobody again aside of White, who he lost to on lost to on the cards. So that's my only true gripe with this fight. Other than that, I really don't see any issues with AJ taking a tune up after back to back losses, getting a little bit of his mojo, a little bit of his confidence back. Like I not again, not to re keep repeating myself. But that's the way I see this fight fight going for the most part. But for my official prediction, I, I got Anthony Anthony Joshua by knockout. I, I think like I say, he's got the height, the reach, the experience, the power. Those all favor Anthony Joshua. I think he'll and, and Franklin's a durable kid. He's from the Midwest, so I'll be rooting for him, but he's a Michigan cat, so but uh, you know, I do I, I do believe, I do believe that, you know, it'll go some rounds, but Anthony Joshua will just stick him with the jab, stick and move, stick him with the jab, uh, stay out of harm's way, and then and I think he'll wear Franklin down and then maybe get him out of there somewhere in the middle of the fight. So for my official, so, somewhere in the middle of the fight. So for my official prediction, I'm going to take Anthony Joshua by a sixth round knockout. In a fight that goes rounds, like I say, and maybe gives a little AJ a little bit of momentum back. But that's my two cents on this fight, guys. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you're new, please be sure to hit the like buttons and subscribe. I hope everybody's having a lovely day. Um, God bless you all, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.